welcome back to Chef Charity's Favorite Things, all things caking, baking, and otherwise that are my favorites, brought to you by American Cake Decorating Magazine. Don't forget you can get 20% off your new subscription. Uh, click the link in my bio or the link in the text of this post. I'm very excited about today because um, this is a big pet peeve of mine. I'm gonna give you a little lesson along with showing you my favorite measuring tools for both dry and liquid measure. Uh, OXO or OXO, however you want to say it, I've heard it both ways. Um, they make my favorite measuring tool. We have these little silicone squeeze and pours, and they come, aren't these cute? And they come in four, two, one cup, and then this is the mini. I love all things mini, don't you? Aren't they the cutest? I mean, really. So this goes up to a half a cup. It's so cute. Um, then these are the angled pour. Um, the angled measure cups, they come in four, two, one, and then of course a mini, which is fantastic. I love the little minis. And these are great because we're gonna go about the meniscus and explain why you use a liquid measure cup to measure liquids and dry measure cups to measure dry. Please hold. All right, these are stainless steel with a magnet. So it keeps them together, which is awesome in your drawers, wherever you throw things. So I really like these magnetic stainless steel measuring cups and they come in spoons also, which also keeps them together with that magnet, which is nice. And then you break it apart instead of the ones you have on a ring that are a pain in the butt and you're like jingling around a whole set. All right, um, liquid and dry measure, right? So for dry measure, we have, put your product on there and you scrape it, right? Excellent, okay, great, that's awesome. Now, if I am going to do liquid in here in a dry measure cup, it's not gonna work. And I'm gonna show you why. It's called the meniscus. Um, what's great about these angled ones is this is really easy to see the meniscus because you have your angled uh, you know, um, lines and measure amounts. These you need to get down on the same level as they are with your eyeballs to see where you're at with the meniscus. And I'm gonna explain the meniscus. Okay, here's my drawing. Don't make fun of me because I'm not the best drawer. Get over it. Okay, here's our measuring cup, right? Here is our liquid line. You see how right here it has to cling to the sides of a measure cup, right? So here's a little cross section side view, if you will. The little dotted section up here is the part that's clinging to the side of the measure cup. That's not really that. This top line is not the line of your measurement this bottom line is. That's where the real product is, right? This little tiny line up here, this like this little bit, which is this little guy right here, that's just where it's clinging to the side. So when you look at a, a liquid in a measure cup, you need to get on it, on it eye level with one of these and look and see where the line is, but, but um, go by the bottom line. That's this down here, not up here. Does that make sense? Hopefully that makes sense. It's called the meniscus. My chemistry teacher, I'm sure is gonna be very proud of me. Hi, Miss Larrabee, love you, miss you. This is my high school chemistry teacher and um, I adore her and um, I learned a lot from her. This hopefully makes her very happy. <laughs> messy. If you look at this and I have to have liquid that comes up the sides in order to get my, my product level, if I have enough liquid in here, it's going to be bulbous, right? And it's going to actually overflow. So when baking is all chemistry, you're going to have a teaspoon, half a teaspoon, less liquid if you drew it, if you um, use a dry measure versus a liquid measure where it's appropriate to measure liquids. So please, 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 always use the appropriate measuring thing. Now, these, this is a, um, this is the little beaker set. It's so adorable. And it's got great little feet and it comes in two ounce, one ounce, one tablespoon, which is this guy. And it even comes in a one teaspoon, it's so cute. Um, but when you're measuring your vanilla, here was your foreshadowing back when I was talking about Nielsen Massey vanilla. When you're measuring your vanilla, you need to be measuring not in a 
dry, but in a liquid measure cup, right? So you want to get it correct, all right? Then you have enough vanilla in your product. All right, so these are my favorite measuring tools. Love them. Go to OXO.com and you can order them directly from their website. You get 15% off your first order when you jump on the website. It's just automatic. Nothing special to me. Um, but I do love their products. They hold up really well. Um, these are great for uh, like shortening peanut butter, stuff like that. You can kind of help squish it out. And then because it's silicone, it wipes out really easy uh, for the, that sticky junk that you know none of us really enjoy measuring. We kind of dread measuring that kind of stuff. Anyway, all right, so hope you enjoy those. And uh, again, DM me, uh, email me, charity at chefcharity.com with any of your questions, comments, uh, success stories, failures, whatever. Uh, and just email me and I will do my best to get back to you in a timely manner. And until next time, we'll see you later on Chef Charity's Favorite Things. Mm -hmm.